everybody, and welcome to day number 14 of Vlogmas. And today is a day with Dad. Morning coffee, stealing this idea from the Oakleys. Because I don't drink coffee all the time, but today's the day I do drink coffee. Plus, I sat around the house the last two days, so I need to get out. I can't get started from the park. Yesterday, should I spend my time a little wiser? Where does Dad like to go get coffee? In Boulder, Colorado, I'd say the best coffee is Vicks. Is that where we're going? Yes. Okey Vicks dokey. or the Laughing Goat. Now we're gonna sit outside? We have to sit outside. <laughs> oh, yay, Wim Hof method. Vicks Espresso is my dad's favorite coffee shop in Boulder. He really likes it. Not my favorite coffee shop, it's my favorite coffee in Boulder. Wow, there, there's a it's, big difference. It's long, it, it's a long standing shop. It's been here for a very long time. And back in the day when I worked with my partner John, we used to drink Vicks coffee all the time. We said, should we go to Vicks? And then he said, yeah. So I would drive to go get his coffee and I'd go get it at Vicks because Vicks is pretty reliable. What's the Pat McMahon choice? Because there's so many different options on the menu that it's hard to choose, but I know you have a favorite. You gonna want me to say it or you wanna hear me to say it? Them? No, I don't wanna make it less awkward. I don't want you to say it in front of the person. Double shot iced Americano with extra ice. Ice when it's cold out? Always. Whoa. I don't like hot coffee. Whoa. Yup, I'm getting the golden milk chai. Cause I'm just a chai guy, you know? Even though it's 20 degrees out right now, we wanna sit down and drink our drinks. My dad asked, hey, can you unlock, unlock these chairs? And the, the girl inside was like, no, no one's been asking to unlock the chairs. So that's why we have them locked up. And I'm just thinking, well, we just asked. So that's great. We, there's been a Vlogmas episode filmed right here before. Yes, you we know? were talking about getting a new car. Now he's thinking about getting a... Hey, don't spoil it. Spoil Don't it. spoil it. Yeah. So Look at I got my Dallas Cowboy colors on. Blue and silver. <laughs> silver and blue. I'm not watching the game today because they are so bad and I can't even stand it. I'll oh. probably watch a little bit on on my phone. And the Broncos, they're pretty okay. bad too. Okay. Sundays are usually all about football this time of year. Some of you know that. Guys. You know, you've been blowing up this channel. I've been vlogging since 2015. And if you go back to then, they were just, it was basically a 16 year old kid just saying random stuff to the camera. Now it has grown to a platform where there's almost 50,000 subscribers, which is just ridiculous. And you know, I think a lot of, there's a good majority of the people who, you know, enjoy the rambling the camera and that's what this vlog is you know not every vlog is going to be perfect not every vlog is going to be for you know the disc golf fan the original one of the original reasons i started the vlog was to archive my life in a way that i could look back on and you know celebrate like me and my dad looked at this this vlog from norway last year uh, a few nights ago and it was great this this vlogs for the the family not the fans necessarily that didn't sound right, but you know what I mean. I want, I want my aunt. For the family. To, I want my aunt to watch this. I want my uh, grandma to watch this and be like, "That's the Pat and Eagle." I know. Plus, there is a contingency out there of Eagles fans that want to see more of Eagles' dad, right? They want to see more of me. <laughs> Here, smile for the thumbnail. Look at this jacket. Here's another uh, story for uh, wait, wait. No, Speaking of family, I'm gonna use this opportunity to shout out my aunt who is starting a new YouTube endeavor and her channel is called Nature Dog Realms. And if you need somebody to babysit your dog, just turn on the TV and what, what essentially is it? Nature Dog Realms, there's some very serene music playing and you get to go through nature and see different birds and uh, it's really um, a relaxing channel, so subscribe to it, and when it pops up, 
take a minute to relax, meditate, watch, watch dogs take and walk and birds and have your dog sit there and check it out too and see the birds. Yeah, for you dog lovers out there, I think uh, it's it's worth a look. Plus, it would help help her get a jump start on her channel, and I know that that would make her really happy. So head over to Nature Dog Realms and subscribe. Yeah. All right. The first hike in a while. Like I was saying, my knee was bothering me a bit. Got some MAT physical therapy done, and I'm just gonna take it easy. Walk without weight on my back, so not a rock. But it's a beautiful day for it. Just gotta be careful of slippery, slippery ice because I don't have the most traction. I wanna play next year, that's the goal. This is day six of our hike around Boulder. We started in Gun Barrel. We're about 16 miles into the hike. Today, we start the mountain section and sometimes we hike over the mountain. Today, we're gonna hike through the lower part through some old yeah, it's a coffee hike. We're going to walk through the old neighborhood and tell some crazy stories. Okay, Dad, it's story time. Let's hear it. We used to live on this street. We used to hike up this. This is a little back trail that get you up onto the mountains. And many years ago, we were house sitting for somebody on the street and then a house came up for rent. We were house sitting watching a cat. What was the cat's name, you remember? Jaya. Jaya. We were, it was actually a famous person, kind of. It was, for, for Amy. She's a famous- Yoga teacher. Yoga teacher. She's a very good yoga teacher who does workshops throughout, okay. throughout the world. One thing I'll say, people are gonna get mad at me for saying this. Let's make it a little more snappy. All right, well. <laughs> That's not how it works in real time. But it is, it has to. But today's a real time video because it's Sunday. No, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to edit that much. All right, well, you're going to now. No, you the, 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 I would have been done the story okay. by now. We lived on the street and we had this very eccentric, kind of quirky German lady landlord. Yes, and when we first went, she was very weary of teenagers. And uh, she thought all teenagers were bad. So I told her, not my teenager, he's different. So she, when she we listened went to, to My Chemical her, Romance. So we went to meet her the first time and she fell in love with Eagle. But as time pursued, she accused Eagle of doing a lot of teenage things that he didn't do, like she thought he was smoking cigarettes in the shed next to the gas cans and lots of other things. But she loved us and I got along really good with her and all the neighbors always had a problem with her and we're like, wow, how do you deal with her? How do you get along with her? And I said, oh, I just let her be. I just realized she's like that. The last day we move out, I go by, I'm saying my goodbyes to her and she says, oh, God, I really love you. But that eagle, and I was like, well, but that eagle, what are you talking about? So she- But that dang eagle. So then she proceeds to not want to tell me. And I'm like, no, you just opened up a can of worms. You have to tell me what is going on. What did eagle do? Blah, blah, blah. Finally, I get her to come out. And she said, eagle's got to be careful traveling the world or he's going to end up in jail. And I'm like, what are you, <laughs> she's going to end up in jail? What do you, what did he do? What are you talking about? She says that he's been stealing and that she snuck into her house and stole some food, some cookies from the cookie jar. I was like, that's absolutely ridiculous. I go, Eagle doesn't even eat cookies. <laughs> and she's like, oh, well, I'm like, I go, he has money and he has his grandparents and he has plenty of food. He doesn't need to steal for food. That was pretty much the end of that relationship. That was the end of that. And, and lives, it, you know, it was- She lives right and, over here. It's like, she, she might hear, she could probably hear us right now. Um, she should hear it and hopefully she watches this video. Yeah, I mean, I-, I She should be called I, out for I that. liked her, she was quirky, she was different. She was this art teacher. She actually gave me stone sculpting classes for a while. So it kind of sucked that that bridge got burnt, but- Yeah, and I loved, I loved her. Yeah, but but one time some people were walking down the alleyway because we had a back alleyway and they said they used to live there 
and they said that she accused them of growing pot and so she was always just kind of making she was always nosy making things up in her mind she was always nosy walking our way up to chautauqua which is for pure the pure beauty i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my my one of my favorite scenes some of my favorite scenery in the world i'm actually thinking about getting a tattoo of it so i'll cut to it now still drinking it Oh my goodness, that is just so breathtaking, unbelievable. All right, guys, you've seen it before in my videos, but you're gonna see it again. That's probably my favorite view in the world, and I'm biased because I'm from here, but it never ceases to amaze me. And I'm thinking of getting it tattooed right, right there on my arm, so I always have a little piece of home with I me. Tattooed on my butt. You want to see it? That is such a dad joke right there. I appreciate it. But I love it. I don't know what the focus looks like or the exposure, but that's home, baby. How's dad like his coffee? I wanted there to be more. We'll go get more. I probably will. All right. I just need to add water to it so I can drink it all. For those of you who don't know, dad likes coffee. But for those of you who don't know that I gave it up after Waco, when the pandemic started, I gave it up for seven months. So I only have it once a week, but now I have it two to three times a week, but I don't have coffee every single day. I don't want to always be in fight or flight response mode. I want my body to, and my nervous system to get a break and to relax. That's why today Eagle's video is going to be shorter because every day, He's slaving in his bedroom, putting these v videos together and it's taking up all his time. And I said, today you need to take a break and hang out with your dad and watch him drink coffee because I'm tired of going to get coffee by myself alone, sitting outside during a pandemic where we can't make any connection with anybody. But I can with my son. <sighs> all right, guys, back at the house. And before we get into the giveaway, I'll just talk a little bit about today. You know, it's really difficult to sit in front of the computer and make these like tier videos, um, Reddit reactions. Like uh, on average, editing a video, those videos to get all the footage, it's probably anywhere from a three to six hour project. Then you take uploading, you know, posting about it on Instagram. So, you know, it's borderline it's borderline like working a real job. It's definitely, it's definitely better. I'm not complaining, but it's it's crazy. And you know, with the disc golf lifestyle, uh, I'm not used to, you know, working all day. Let's just put it that way. And you know, even when I'm out, I'm focusing on getting shots, thinking about how I'm going to edit the video. But just a, a little bit of insight to what vlogging is like. I think Simon even talked about it in uh, his video yesterday that. There's, I have so much respect for the YouTubers who, you know, put out content on a regular basis and who have uh, better editing skills because editing takes a long time to have everything where you want it. Of course, I think you get better at it the more you do it. Uh, that's without a doubt that's the case. But you know, thanks, thanks for the the true, you know, what my dad said earlier about fan, family, family, uh, for hanging in there and uh, watching the video. The, the support doesn't go unnoticed and it is much appreciated. All right, we're going to get into the giveaway. The question I asked you guys, what is the best shot you've seen on coverage? And the comment that won this here beautiful instinct from yesterday is Jay Weber. He wrote Kevin Jones, 530 foot slip ace. That throw was beautiful. I'm also glad he didn't get hurt. Yeah, that that's absolutely insane. That was from a skins match this year uh, by GK Pro. Uh, you're watching it right now. I'm just talking about what I remember. He planted his knee hard, and I remember ESPN even shared it, and they were concerned he tore his ACL, so thank goodness he didn't. So there you go, Kevin's, Kevin's shot was absolutely amazing. There's no questioning that. Um, Jay Weber, get in contact with me, Instagram or Facebook, you know the drill. I hope you know the drill. Uh, 
The next giveaway will be a whale sack, Discmania LED light, large Huck Lab decal, and this really cool, it says Neo Enigma, but I almost want to say it's more of a Lux. This is a, a 171. Uh, so this could all be yours. And what I want you guys to comment today, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want an entire story in the comment section, but what's one of the best memories you've had on the disc golf course? Please leave your interesting or creative responses in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow for day number 15 of Vlogmas. Keep on dreaming and peace.